Hi everyone, I'm Tony Mori, and I'm visiting Rustridge Ranch and Winery in the Childs Valley District. Let's visit together. Rustridge Ranch and Winery is located in the Charles Valley District, off of the Silverado Trail. This region, with its approximately 1,000 feet higher elevation than Napa Valley, is known for its Cabernet Sauvignon and Zinfandel grapes. In 1972, Susan Mayer's family purchased the property, which was once a thoroughbred ranch, and started the winery in 1985. Susan and her husband, Jim Frescas, started managing the winery in 1990. The winery has a property of 600 acres and looks like a western ranch. It has a B&B and offers horseback riding as well as wine tastings. We have Jim Frescas, manager and winemaker of Rustridge Ranch and Winery with us today. Well, uh, it is a 600 acre ranch, winery, and thoroughbred farm as well. Uh, it is uh, mostly undeveloped except for 50 acres, and we dry farm and we organic farm our grapes. Uh, as you've talked with other growers and, and winemakers, it is all about the place. And we feel that we have a very spiritual and um, absolutely a, a, a paradise of, of a land here. We, we can do a lot of uh, different wines here. They, they flourish, they grow well, uh, it's actually easy to make wine when you have such a good product to work with from the very beginning. Well, how I came to Rustridge was uh, I wanted a career change, and I'm from Hollywood, the film business originally, and uh, that being film, I became Michael Landon's uh, personal horse trainer. I trained all his horses for him of, of a little house in the prairie, Michael Landon. Uh, I just wanted to get away from Los Angeles and try something else. So I moved to Northern California in 1989, and I went to work with a, for a woman by the name of Lucille Meyer. And she had a lot of thoroughbred horses. And being a horse trainer myself, I applied for the job and I got the job. And uh, in 1989 as well, uh, I met her daughter, Susan Meyer, and uh, she and I took over the management of this ranch uh, and eventually bought the whole family out. So that's uh, how I came to be on this ranch. And, uh, but we kept the tradition going and we still breed and train thoroughbred racehorses. My training track is right behind you, so I train them in the vineyard. Uh, that said, we also needed a way to generate money, so we put the bed and breakfast in and converted our original ranch house to a B&B &B in 1990. And uh, it has brought a lot of people from all over the world. It's been very rewarding and uh, meeting new friends uh, on a regular basis. It's uh, challenging, uh, yet it is, uh, it, it, it's really very rewarding. The most important thing about making wine is of course, you've heard many times before, is the beginning, which is the growing of the grape. Uh, but that's, that's only half of it. The other half is love. Uh, you have to love the vine and love the making of the wine. It's, it's, it's a harmony. Uh, if you have that great product to begin with, it's so much more lovely too because you, you can do so many, so many beautiful things with the grape. And uh, that's what I think is a very, the most important thing. Uh, the first wine that I'm going to introduce you to is a Sauvignon Blanc. And uh, Sauvignon Blanc is, is so varied. There's so many different kinds. And this Sauvignon Blanc is very unique, unique in that uh, it has a little color. Um, I think that has a lot to do with the terroir, the, the, the soil, the altitude. It gets very hot here but yet it cools off at night, more like the, the Bordeaux region. And um, it is a lot of fruit forward, dry on the finish, uh, a great summer wine actually. This is a red Zinfandel, and uh, it's very unique for this area here in Childs Valley. When you think of Childs Valley, you think of Zinfandel. And 
that is our grape of this valley. It, it grows the best here. I would say it grows better here than most places. Uh, we get very high sugars. Uh, it's uh, wonderful to work with as far as the winemaking part of it because it, once you have the, the great grape again, I'll say it's not that hard. The hard part is growing the grape, the Zinfandel. It's very thin skinned and uh, you can practically breathe on it and um, it'll turn to mildew and mildew spreads very rapidly. So uh, it's a grape that you have to have a constant vigil over. You, you constantly watch it, you pull leaves away, you, you have to thin the grapes. If they get too close together, they'll rot. Very challenging Zinfandel is. Uh, I recommend people that want to try Zinfandel to do a lot of research with it before they attempt to grow it. Hi, I'm Jim Frescas, and I am the manager and winemaker of Rust Ridge Ranch and Winery. This is my favorite horse, Rust, uh, Stacy's Ridge, and he was a very successful racehorse. Uh, our vineyard is here. We have a bed and breakfast and uh, miles and miles of fantastic trails to hike on. I would just love to have you folks all out there to come and visit and have a glass of our wonderful Sauvignon Blanc and our four star gold winner, uh, 06 Zinfandel. How did you like Rustridge Ranch and Winery? I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. My friend Tony. Thank you so much. <laughs>